chance at the highlight of Littlest Pet Street's grand opening will be the world premiere of the first film at Furplex Cinema, the world's first movie theater designed for humans and their pets. Why, can we make our own movie to play at the theater? Of course. I'll even lend you my smartphone to film it. What kind of publicity have you been doing for the grand opening? Publicity? Oh, dear. But Kitty Plays Piano and Falls has one billion views. Hey, what if we got Selena Meow to come? With all our followers, we'd be sure to get a huge turnout. Oh, Felina's owner just sent me your contract. Must provide first-class travel accommodations to the venue from Felina's home in Bermuda? Of course I'll fly you to Bermuda. Awesome! Felina Meow, what a pleasure to meet you. I'm Blythe Baxter, and this is your... Flame Entourage. What the feline diva? Everyone, fasten your seatbelt! We're headed into a huge storm, and it looks like we're gonna have to make an emergency landing! You think about all the things that you love to do. It all comes true. Opposite of good. Bad. No, this is worse than bad. It's really bad. Well, thank goodness none of us got hurt. But how are we gonna get home? The radio's broken, and I don't have any bars. Uh, don't worry. I've seen worse. Are you sure about that? Yeah. <laughs> I can totally fix this. So good to be here at the opening of Littlest Pet Street. <laughs> the Pet Vet. A great place to get my annual checkup. Haristas. Tasty. But no dawdling. I have got to go to the premiere at Furplex Cinema. Anna Twombly, you must have worked all night on this opening. Well, Felina Meow, this was a team effort. And yes, it did take all night. <gasps> if only pets could really talk. Ah, there's my assistant. And mine. So, Mrs. Twombly, you wanted to run down the checklist for today's festivities? Yes, I don't want to leave anything to chance for Felina Meow's visit to Littlest Pet Street. RSVP is received, bunting is up, and new unveiling tarp is on its way. Hmm, today is really coming together. Although, it'll all be for nothing if Blythe doesn't get Felina Meow back in time. Don't worry, Mrs. Twombly. I'll call her and see what's up. Even though she didn't answer the first 25 times I called. I'm so happy my owner dropped me off today. I get to be here for the grand opening of Littlest Pet Street. What's with Mrs. Twombly? I thought she'd be more excited about this grand opening. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm not even sure why. I think she's just very nervous about it all. Aw, oh, great. Now I'm very nervous. What? I'm highly suggestible. Aw, oh, don't be nervous, Vinny. And now I'm not. <laughs> Thanks, PT. Dad, I know you're doing your best, but is there any way you could do your best a little faster? Don't worry, Blythe. Once the engine's fixed, I'll get some vines, tie these wings back on, and we'll be home in no time. Would it save time if I went and got the vines? What if you run into a wild animal? Oh, please. There's not an animal out there I can't out-talk. Ah, uh, outrun. Ah, uh, my little girl. You're really grown up, aren't you? Why, your dad is right. We should come with you. You know, for protection. I appreciate everybody's concern, but I'll be fine. Uh, actually, we have ulterior motives. We realize that pets on a plane needs a twist. So, can we come along? Also, you have the camera. 
Well, okay. You can come along and borrow my phone. Why would I need to borrow your phone, Blythe? You said you couldn't get any bars. Huh? Oh, yeah! <laughs> I guess I forgot. I'll go get some vines. Gesundheit! <coughs> uh, no, that was ahem, as in ahem. Let's not let a celebrity get a fur burn. <sighs> I'm starting to really worry about Blythe. It's not like her to ignore 75 texts. Actually, it's not like her to ignore one text. <laughs> I'm just gonna assume that was something like, don't worry, she'll be here. In the meantime, I'd better keep that I haven't heard from Blythe a secret from Mrs. Twombly. I think she's getting more stressed out. What is this? Do you think all of those people waiting all day to meet Felina Meow want to greet her with squeak toys that don't squeak? You fix it or I will squash you! I'll squash you! Mrs. Twombly, you've got to chill. I can't chill until I know Felina Meow is actually here on Littlest Pet Street taking the tour and making her fans go... Oh, where is Felina Meow? And where is Blythe? Ah! Hey, look over there. We should go over to that waterfall. It'll be perfect for a big action sequence. Yeesh, what a sickening happy fest. Are you pets always so supportive of each other? Well, not always. Sometimes we actually argue about who's most supportive. Really? I mean, ugh, really? Felina, are you ready to do a scene? Actually, I'm ready to do nothing. Perfect. Wait, what? You pets are amateurs, and watching you work together made me realize I'm way too big a star to appear in your silly little movie. Hey! That's not very nice. Besides, all you make are silly little videos. Yeah! Who are you to talk to us like that? Um, a kitten with two billion internet fans. I've got more clicks than a ballpoint pen factory. And a weakness for terrible metaphors. hey -oh. oh yeah, girl, I went there. Mm-hmm. Snap, snap, snap. <laughs> this is Blythe Baxter. When you hear the beep, leave me the deep. Blythe, it's young me. Again. And I'm freaked right now because there's no you, there is no pet, and there's no Felina Meow, who has got to take her tour of Littlest Pet Street or Mrs. T is going to lose it. Lena Meow is going to be here on time. Huh? I cannot believe Felina is big timing us. Well, I can always do more scenes. I've been working on my angry expression. I'm just so darn angry. <sighs> okay, pets, I've got enough vines, so let's get back to the pet jet. <laughs> I see from your expression that you don't like this. And I get it. If I were a dog, then the last thing I'd want to be is a cat. But it's the least we can do for Mrs. Twombly. I just hope none of my dog friends see me. Attention, everyone! May I present the internet sensation that you've all come to see! Felina Meow! <sighs> I am so adorably cute as I fall down over and over again because I'm a silly cat who doesn't know better. <laughs> oh, 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 oh
<laughs> Meow. Now, who wants a poster? <laughs> Gotta get some air. Something take your breath away? You must be Felina Meow. I'm... Dr. Handsome Face! <gasps> oh, you know me. I'm flattered. And a huge fan. What brings such a big star to my humble little veterinary concern? May I give you a checkup? <sighs> Wait a minute. You're that quack who insulted my singing. <laughs> Zoe? You've got some nerve, Doctor! Make Doctor! <laughs> I'm not doing your silly movie. What makes you think we want you in our silly movie? Oh, so now you don't? Of course we do! Blythe, please check our fuel level. <laughs> Please, I'm trying to concentrate. Yeesh, it was just a simple request. Oh, uh, sorry, Dad. I, I was just, um, fuel level's good, Dad. Well, okay then. Let's light this candle. than Zoe at convincing everyone that you're Felina. This costume doesn't even fit me right. What happened to my tail? <laughs> Hello, Paristas! Who wants a genuine Potograph photo of Felina Meow? <laughs> the famous Miss Felina Meow in my cafe. I have seen all your videos on the World Wide Web. Wow, <laughs> isn't that nice? That one where you done fell into pudding? <laughs> Some fine calm old detail. Come here, give Fuzzy a big old hug right now. Oh, hands. <laughs> okay, Felina, it's time to stop chit chatting and start photographing. Uh oh. <laughs> Well, I think I got it. And for the sale? Bermuda shorts! Not just stylish, but practical, too. Gotta hand it to you, kiddo. Your idea to turn the pet jet into a sailboat is brilliant! Now we just gotta push her into the water. Just push it into the water. Dad! Pets, get on the pet jet. Are you okay? Perfect. I mean, other than this day being nothing but failure, what else could possibly go wrong? <gasps> Charging Rhino? I appreciate you trying to cheer me up with a joke, but I happen to know that one. Rhinos don't charge because they always carry cash. No, Dad. Charging Rhino! Well, you don't have to yell about it. Look, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to yell. It's just that we were trying to get off the beach, but as you can see, we're stuck. Can we talk about this? Why? You can't negotiate with a rhino! The name's Toughplate. Stompy Toughplate. I didn't mean to overreact, but whenever strangers show up, I get all... Rawr! Not my best quality. Anything I can do to help? Actually, there is. Oh, you're not going in anywhere. Oh. Um, you want to explain what just happened there? No time right now, Dad. I have a plan. 
Well, actually, Stompy Tough Plate and I have a plan. Wait a second. You and a rhino named Stompy have a plan? Sounds good, but do you have an explanation? Um, I didn't want to do this right here, in this way. And I know it'll sound like I hit my head during the emergency landing, but I can talk to rhinos. And not just rhinos, any animal. Dogs, cats, hedgehogs, and they can talk to me. Oh, I know. You know? Oh, yeah. I've known all along. But we should probably get on the pet jet. I think your plan is about to go into motion. Here I go! <gasps> Not gonna work! Oh, can't believe I let Mrs. T down. Can't believe I'm talking to myself. What if I talk to myself forever? What if I can't stop? No, young me, you can't stop. No, you can't! I think the pressure has made young me go a little twombly. I'm on it. Oh, hey there, Peachy. You're so cute. I have to take a selfie. Thanks, Peachy. I feel much better. Young me, come quick! Look at the crowd in front of the Furplex Cinema. And they're all waiting to see Felina Meow. So where is she? Mrs. Twombly, I'm afraid Felina isn't... Oh, there she is. The flight from Bermuda must have been rough. You are positively green in the face. Oh, well, your audience awaits. Wait! I am just so darn angry. <laughs> <laughs> you have great comedic timing, Penny Ling. I think our action movie works even better as an action comedy. Hey, everybody, I'd like... Well, let me guess, more ice in your water bowl? Your seat cushion fluffed? Your little changed? I'm on it! No, I'd like to apologize. You would? So you don't need your litter changed? Ugh, good. I'm sorry for being such a diva. I've always been a solo act. I've never filmed with other pets before. And when I saw you all working together and having such a good time, well... I guess I got a little jealous. Anyway, I hope I didn't ruin your movie. Oh, well, Felina, now that pets on a plane is pets on a boat, it'd be great to get an ocean chase. I'll have you know, cats hate water. Which will be hilarious! Let's do it! <laughs> uh, Dad, so that whole talking to pets thing, I know you must be worried about me. Oh, I'm not worried at all. You're not? Nope. Talking to pets is just one more wonderful way that you're exactly like your mother. You knew that she could talk to pets too? Of course. No secrets allowed in marriage. Although, she never found out that my homemade butter cake was actually store-bought. So, if you suspected I was talking to pets, why didn't you ever say anything? I knew you'd bring it up in your own time, when you were ready. Remember what I said about my little girl growing up? Hi, uh, Daddy. Oh, I don't remember the plane being quite so dusty. No, 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 no! The grand opening of Littlest Pet Street is happening really soon. At the speed we're going, we'll never make it in time. Why are you smiling? Because I know you'll come up with something. You always do. We're in a bit of a rush. Could you give us a lift? Not a problem. Headed that way myself. We're here to celebrate the official grand opening of Littlest Pet Street. And I'm proud to introduce our newest Pet Street venture, the Furflex Cinema. And now, 
you know her from such internet videos as Kitten Tumbles Off Stool and Kitten Spills Milk, Felina Mia! Well, it was fun while it lasted. Yummy! Wait! <laughs> Just made it. <sighs> Why is Benny wrapped in a rug? This was not my idea! Good luck, Felina! And there's one thing I need. No, I am not walking this red carpet without my entourage of friends. It's pets. It's a boat. It's pets on a boat. Aww. You know, I met that girl. <laughs> she and I are very close. Well, Mrs. Twombly, everyone's really having a great time. <sighs> they are, aren't they? Although, I just wish there were some way we could ask the pets what they think about it all. Think I should tell her? Someday, kiddo. Someday. <laughs> <laughs>